today is a little uh, comparison test and see which is best between the following. And so here we have the Gear 4 Music Black Stratocaster, which I paid £15 for, and I've done a lot of cleaning to get it into the position that it's in right now. Now, looking online about these, we can tell that uh, Gear 4 Music do not stock this shape anymore. They're uh, more recent ones uh, in the Strat style, uh, look a bit more like the Yamaha Pacifica. Um, so this guitar, I happen to know that when these were brand new back in the 1990s, uh, they were retailing for around about the £89.99 mark. So uh, a sub £90 guitar in effect, gear for music. And that is going up against this, the Faisley FST118 guitar, which retails for just under £60. And uh, this guitar is my go-to sort of Strat sounding guitar whenever I need that kind of sound. And uh, yeah, I paid £60 for this and uh, it is a fantastic little machine. Now, in order to get the best out of both guitars, I have altered the pickup heights for them to be exactly the same. Um, I think the only major difference between these guitars is the Faisley does have the strings on from when it came. And of course, this Gear for Music one has the Ernie Ball 9 gauge slinkies on it. But what we're going to do is test them both through the Black Star Fly 3 amp on clean and then on the dirty channel. And then we'll just plug in and do some things with the NUX Mighty Plug. And we'll see whether we think a £90 guitar is any good stacked up against a £60 brand new guitar. So without further ado, let's get into it now. Okay, well the first thing to note that I really find here is that the Faisley guitar is a lot lighter than the Gear 4 Music guitar. Um, it just feels that bit more comfortable. So let's get the clean tones out of this and then we will go straight into the clean tones on the Gear 4 Music strat. So for me in that little test, I think the Faisley guitar came out tops. It just had a more rounded uh, tone to it. Um, this one sounded a little thin. Yeah, I think the Faisley guitar did it. The playability as well. I thought that the Faisley guitar was a little bit more comfortable than this guitar. Anyway. Now let's go on to the dirty tones from the Black Star Fly 3. Thank you. 
Well, there was not a lot of difference in those tones there. Um, I do think, however, that the Faisley guitar was a little bit more mid-rangey um, and that the uh, Gear for Music guitar was uh, a lot more in the top end. Um, but, yeah, not a great deal of difference when you had the gain from the Black Star on. But now we're going to do one final test and we're going to take a listen through the NUX Mighty Plug and see if there are any differences to be heard there. Okay guys, and there we have it. So, let me know what your thoughts were down below in the comments. For me, I thought the Gear for Music guitar just had too much top end on it. There was far too much of that kind of uh, piercing jangle. Uh, whereas the Faisley guitar had that right sort of bottom end mid um, sort of mix that that I like, uh, the kind of thing that I prefer. So yeah, I prefer the £60 Faisley over the £89 Gear for Music Strat, which I picked up for £15. Um, that is not to say that the Gear for Music guitar is a bad guitar. I just think it has more of that cutting sort of tone that um, I do not use. But at the end of the day, let me know what you think down below in the comments.